Welcome back to Slushy Review. Uh, this is Keith. And this is Chris. And today we will be continuing our Star Wars saga with episode five, The Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Right? Was that right? Yeah. Okay. 100%. I wrote ESB and I'm like, I don't know. I don't really know what that means, but I wrote it. <laughs> um, but yes, so thank you for tuning in to our continuing our Star Wars saga. We took a break last week with a couple weeks ago with there Wonder Woman. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we took a break with, I don't know, fuck it, I'm not going to say that. Welcome back to <laughs> Empire Strikes Back. Um, the fifth entry? No, technically it would be the seventh since we did Rogue One and yeah. Solo. So this is number seven Star Wars movie. Um, this is a movie after New Hope, after we are introduced to all the other scoundrels of the world all the old people all the old people um thank you for listening we definitely appreciate it uh make sure you follow us at um slusher review on twitter at slusher review uh you can also check us out on youtube um just search slusher review we pop up with the first result <laughs> um and then check us out on spotify uh apple Podcasts. Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. Um, and also, coming soon, Instagram. Follow us on IG. The Gram. Uh, at Slushy Review Podcast. Yes. We just started it. Need some followers. Need some likes. Let's get right into the plot. Empire Strikes Back. All right. <laughs> Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> you looked back. at me like, What? <laughs> I was like, it was a couple episodes ago, you're like, do we do that? Yeah, I, was I was like, like I talk now? <laughs> do we not? Insert. I listened to that one and I go, you're like, uh, oh yes, yes, we do that. Yeah, what episode was that? Though? I don't I just, I just froze. I'm like, ah. The light is on. <laughs> We're recording. You start about the blood alone moves the wheels of history. <laughs> we are warriors. <laughs> Uh, Empire Strikes Classic. Back. It is. Oh, let's see. I forget. How, I don't remember how they worded an opening crawl. The mm-hmm. Rebel Alliance is kind of on the run from. I mean, they've always they were always fucking on, on the run from the Empire, like hitting and running. Um, Empire, the Rebel Alliance has set up shop on a on a planet called Hoth. Mm-hmm. It is an ice planet. It's cold. It's real cold out there. <laughs> and that's where they set up their base, and they figure they're safe from the Empire. No one's going to come looking for them there because it's like a remote system. They don't got to worry about shit. Luke's out riding around on his Tauntaun. I was like, ah, what a lovely scene to take in. <laughs> Let's Drops his guard for like a second and gets <laughs> gets the mandible claw from a fucking, I think it's called a wampa. Oh. It's like a big bear thing with horns. It's like a Sasquatch, I don't know, a abominable yes. snowman, Yeti thing. Clotheslines him off his fucking horse. It's not a horse. Takes him back to his cave, freezes him to the ceiling, <laughs> and it's like, I'm going to eat him later, because I already got something else that I made. I'll eat my leftovers before I eat this new food that I bought. The Tauntaun. Yeah, he eats a Tauntaun. Yeah. And then he's like, I'll save Luke for later. This one's fresher. And he's like, all right. I'll eat him in a second. I'll leave <laughs> I'll leave this laser sword just out of reach. He'll be fine. <laughs> it wasn't fine. Luke's apparently been training in the use of the force. Grab that thing, cuts that fucker's arms off after he cuts himself out of the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Runs out of the cave. Doesn't just kill it and hang out in its cave to wait out the fucking blizzard that's outside that he was just in. Instead, he cuts its arm off. He's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Because I can survive out in the cold. Runs out there and almost fucking dies. Gets saved by Han. Time passes. A droid from the Empire ends up on Hoth. It's looking for them. 
They're just looking for anything, any signs of them. They've been sending these droids out all over the galaxy. It picks them up. Han shoots it like he does with everything. He shoots it first <laughs> and asks it questions never because it fucking blew up. Um, the Empire and like shows up like the next day knocking on their door with these giant fucking robot walkers and they're like, all right, let's kill the let's kill the Rebel Alliance right now. They manage to escape by doing the best thing ever, splitting up. Scatter all your main characters. That's what this whole movie was. Split the party. So which is in a D and D game is never a good idea because you usually end up fucking getting your asses kicked. But in this one, it worked out okay for some of them, and some of them lost a hand. But while Luke was dying, which, which hand? One of them. <laughs> That's both hands. <laughs> while Luke was dying in the snow, he saw a vision of Obi Wan Kenobi, which he, he still calls fucking Ben for some reason, even though I guess that's how he knows him. White devil, white devil. <laughs> this is how they know you. <laughs> so, so, Ben. Can say what you. <laughs> ben, ben Kenobi tells him to go to the Dagobah system and look for the Jedi Master who instructed him, Yoda. Mm-hmm. So, after Luke kills some people from the Empire, helps his friends escape, he's like, I'm not meeting up with everybody else. I'm going to go get my Jedi schooling in. Mm hmm. So he spends a lot of the movie in the swamp with Yoda, getting his learning in. He's standing on his head, picking up rocks, lifting a box. R2. Weird Al wrote a song about it that I'm not going to torture you with me singing it. You did say you were going to do that. I did say I was going to do that. You don't have to. But I can't because I already said the lines from it. He picked up a box. He lifted some rocks while he stood on his head. Oh. But he won't forget what Yoda said. He said, Luke, stay away from the darker side, and if you start to go astray, let the Force be your guide. Set to the tune of Lola by the Kinks. Great Aww. song. Greater artist. Weird Al. <laughs> <laughs> Luke trains, gets some training in the Jedi arts, while Han and Leia and Chewie and C-3PO are out giving the Empire the slip every chance they get, flying nice. through asteroid fields, accidentally landing their ship inside of a fucking space worm's mouth. Um, stick into the back of a Star Destroyer after he almost tricks them into running into each other. Han's a little mm-hmm. rascal. Mm-hmm. Vader hires a bunch of bounty hunters to track people down, apparently to tr- just to track Han Solo down, because that's all Boba Fett's interested in, mm-hmm. is hunting his ass down. They're still on the run from the Empire. They end up in the Lando system, at <laughs> Lando City of Bespin, oh, the city in the clouds. Mm-hmm. Well, they got followed there by Boba Fett, but Vader fucking beat him there, apparently, because they're like, oh, they arrived just before you did. Surprise, bitch. I'm not as good a friend as you thought I would be, even though you haven't seen me in like 15 years from the looks of us. Um, even though I was real happy to see, see you when I met you at your ship, I did sell you out. He, Han gets tortured for no reason. They don't even ask him any questions. C-3PO gets shot. Chewie gets shackled again. Leia gets hit on by Billy D. Williams. So, you know, no one's having a good time. No, that's fair. <laughs> None of them are having a good time. And Luke's on another planet watching it all happen, apparently, through his force vision. He has to go save them. Finds out that a certain character may be a member of his immediate family. Spoiler alert, it is Vader and it is his father because it's been 40 fucking years at this easily at this point it's well, been more than that it's we already spoiled it with number three exactly. we went in order yeah so they know yeah so if you listen to the previous episodes and not a spoiler you're just logical progression at this point you just put two and two together and got four um if this is your first episode stop and wait go a, back. Yeah, way to be an idiot way to start at the end <laughs> hey hey idiot <laughs> <laughs> go back to the start um yeah, everything in the middle, it's like the middle movies in the trilogies, everything kind of, well, I guess not not really in the prequel trilogy. In this one, and in the next one, middle in the middle movie of the next trilogy, things aren't looking too good for the good guys at the end of these movies. Mm. At the end of this one, their best pilot is frozen in carbonite, 
Mm-hmm. Um, well, no, in the prequel too. That's after uh, Anakin got his arm cut off. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, after things Dooku, weren't looking too good for them. Yeah, I mean Dooku they got an army. Everybody up. They got an army. <laughs> Anakin didn't. <laughs> he lost he an lost army. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I like that. But, yeah, at the end of this movie, things aren't looking good for the good guys. Fair. Hans and Carbonite. Luke's missing a hand, and he gets a new robot, shiny new robot hand. Vader's mind fucking him every chance he gets. Mm-hmm. The Emperor is now in the picture. Yeah, and is wielding power. Um, the Rebel Alliance is even more on the run, and the Empire is looking pretty good. Yeah, at themselves. I mean, granted, <laughs> granted, they lost a lot of admirals in this movie. Vader was promoting people. <laughs> Vader was promoting one man left and right because yeah. other people were just dying or failing him and dying because it's the same thing. Sure. And yeah, good guys were not in good shape at the end of this one. I think they might pull it out in the next one, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, we'll see. There, <laughs> there's the plot. I'm going to throw it over to Keith for the cast because I'm sure there's a lot of new, fresh, young faces in this movie that we've never seen in the previous movie. There's probably like one. I don't think so. It's Billy D. Williams. Yeah, but just... <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'll go through it pretty quickly. I'll try to. The mm-hmm. cast. Uh, first up, we have uh, young Luke Skywalker as Mark Hamill. Who came through, looked just like he did in Spoiler Alert, Mandalorian. Whoa! Um, <laughs> there. It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks. <laughs> okay. And not only been two weeks since, since the recording of this, but this is Oh, yeah. After. We don't even know when this is going to air. Easy. We don't even know. At least a month. Yeah. Get Disney Plus. That's fair. <laughs> um, so you can watch these also. Oh, yes. The movies. I thought yeah, you meant the podcast. Us. I was like... Oh, Do you man. know something we, we get? Yeah, surprise! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Keith. I got us on Disney Plus. <laughs> There's cameras in the room right now. They're filming all of it, and I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> That's why I dressed up for this one. <laughs> I dressed up for this episode. <laughs> you led me on, <laughs> old buddy, huh? <laughs> hey, old buddy, don't let me down. Uh, speaking of Han, uh, <laughs> so Mark Hamill is Luke Skywalker. Uh, Harrison Ford, Han Solo. Han Solo. He's, he's there. Han Solo. Uh, we have a young Carrie Fisher, um, Princess Leia, who may or may not be anyone's sister at the time. Um, may or may not be anyone's attractive sister. Can't be sure. <laughs> uh, new face, Lando Calrissian, young Billy D. Williams, smooth talker, this guy. As cool as the other side of the pillow. Sam. Uh, let's see, an old face. Uh, Anthony Daniels. Yay! C-3PO. Um, Kenny Baker is R2-D2. Yay! Peter, Peter Mayhew is Chewbacca. May he rest I was good. Did he die recently? A couple years ago. Oh, okay. At the time of this recording, who knows? Fair. But- well, <laughs> by the time uh, this airing, maybe who knows? Someone who did pass about a month ago, David Prowse. Mm-hmm. He played the body of Darth Vader. Yep. Um, another person who unfortunately passed a couple weeks ago, Jeremy Bullock. He was Boba Fat. He played. He died recently. Yeah, like a week ago. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, it was December 17th. Yeah. Yeah. Was yeah. 75. Yeah, I remember when he when they said it. I was like, oh shoot. I was like Boba Fett because it was. I think it was the same day. Uh, it was the night that the last Mandalorian episode came out. Oh, because mm-hmm. the seventeenth uh, was Thursday, and the Mandalorian came out Friday. Oh, yeah, because so I heard about it when the Mandalorian was out. I was at work, but yeah, that's what. Yeah, because the Mandalorian came out what a week before Christmas, right? The final episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so the seventeenth. So that was the eighteenth because Christmas was. 25th? And I can't think, yes. The December? Christmas yes. is December 25th. I was trying to think if that was seven days. I this was like, year? Math, Every year. Math. Uh, yes. And, and let me tell you, yeah. um, John Favreau, I can't think of a better gift he could have given me a week before Christmas. Christmas. Yes. That was, was good. In that final episode. That was good. I agree. Um, Unless the season had started that day. 
And I would have gotten the next episode on Christmas. But, well, you know, that's fair. Whatever. Yeah, that's fair. I'll still take it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Frank Oz, he's new to the... Oh, yeah. To the... To this trilogy. To this trilogy. The OT. Yes. Uh, as Yoda. Um, Alec Guinness. Uh, fan favorite. His favorite movie he's <laughs> ever been in. <laughs> he fucking hated this. He ben, hated the franchise. A.K.A. Obi-Wan um, Kenobi. Alec Guinness. Um, I don't know anybody else in this movie. I feel like we have to mention him because I feel stupid for. Oh, not James Earl Jones. This. He was in it as Darth Vader voice. That also, of course. But that's not who you're talking about. Nope. John Ratzenberger. What? Oh yeah, he is in this. He's in it for like a second. Yeah, I don't. I know forgot who he about is. that. I know the name. You know who he is. If you've ever seen a Pixar movie, you know who he is. That's what I thought. Yeah, he's Ham. Okay, that's a guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's in all the Pixar movies almost. <laughs> yeah, he is. He does a lot of voice work. But uh, it's uh, Clive Revel, or Revel, the guy who is the emperor. And I always just assumed it was still Ian McDiarmid. Oh, really? And that's, and that's when we were watching the credits. I was like, oh, shit, I'm an idiot. Some Star Wars fan I am. I mean, you can't really tell. I get it. Yeah, really. But is it just his voice, or is it the person? <laughs> I think it said voice. So that is still credits. Ian McDiarmid, though, right? I don't know. See? So you <laughs> weren't wrong. I wasn't right. But you never said that his voice was... We didn't. We never separated it to like Darth Vader mm. and the voice for Darth Vader. Right? I don't know. Well, I'm saying like we've never separated the two. We've never been like, oh, we got the Emperor and his voice is... This. Oh, shit, no. Ian McDermott, Emperor, 2004 DVD version, uncredited. Mm, I don't know what that means. So there, yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> I was like, oh, I also, Tim Moore Morrison as Boba Fett, 2004 DVD version, voice, uncredited. So I'm guessing these are those, might be those updated versions. Listen, you're probably right. And I said that, didn't I? I yeah, was like, yeah, Boba Fett yeah, sounds you're the like, same. He sounds like him. Yeah. I was like, they so were either thinking way ahead yeah. or they went back and, uh, and redid this. <laughs> yeah, because here at the very bottom of this, Jason Wingreen, Boba Fett, voice uncredited. I'm guessing that's the original version of it. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Treat Williams. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Jason Wingreen. Nice. So, okay. But, okay. So, was that Ian McDermott? In the movie. I don't know. Or was he just in the next movie? I don't know. Huh. That's interesting. It just says he was uncredited in this one. Yeah, in the 2004 DVD version. Mm. I don't know what to believe. No one knows. Because I'm honestly not 100% sure what version we watched because it was on Disney+. Plus. Oh, we watched the newest one. Yeah. For sure. Wait. 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 Uh Uh-oh. Who who'd you say was the emperor? Clive Revel, voice at least. Who was this guy? Did you see the other one that says emperor? Mm-mm. Go down a little bit. And the reason why you won't know it is because I'm trying to find the one you have. It's past Ratzenberger. It's way past that. It's closer to. Um, yeah, it's way past that. It's, it's, oh, uh, Marjorie Eaton. Yeah. Was okay. that her face? I have no idea. That's hilarious. I would explain why I always said the emperor looked like my grandma. Well, if you look at her, have you seen her? Did you see her? I saw the picture. You the front picture. You see the picture of the. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So audience the audience is in the audience <laughs> um after looking at marjorie eaton who is a woman she played the emperor back in the 70s read her trivia she definitely played the emperor she wore heavy makeup um she had superimposed chimpanzee eyes hmm. her her identity re- re- remained anonymous for many years uh then they went back after her death and said that it was actually her. And then another trivia said appeared as the Emperor via hologram in the original release of The Empire Strikes Back. But she was ultimately replaced by Ian McDermott for the 2004 special edition and subsequent releases. So the movie we watched today 
was Ian McDermott. Okay. The voice, Ian McDermott. Okay. So we didn't get to see. So the first time you've ever seen Empire Strikes Back, you, Chris. On VHS. You saw yeah. Marjorie Eaton okay. with the voice by Clive Revel. Hmm. Right? Crazy. Yes. I'm learning stuff about Star Wars that I didn't know I didn't know. This is why we do this, people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this safe. <laughs> this Remember. With a Z. Uh, Star Wars with a Z. <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> ah, these space balls, really. Let's be honest. I, that's a funny fucking movie. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so let's get into the likes and dislikes, if we have any. Um, <clears throat> do you want to go first or you want me to go first? You go first. I think I went first in another episode that we <laughs> did. <laughs> um, okay, Empire Strikes Back. I have a couple. Okay. This For likes. Yes. Okay. This looks better than episode four. Oh, definitely. It looks a ton better. It looks amazingly like better. on paper or visually? No, or... visually. Okay. Just the movie itself. Uh, I was like, oh, okay, cool. The, the, the snow planet I thought really looked good. Um, that That's also part... I didn't write it down, but that's one of my likes. I really like the situation that happened on Hoth. Everything that happened on Hoth, I thought was interesting. I thought it was great. I thought that it was. It kept my attention, um, but ultimately, it just looked better. Everything looked better, and I was actually like all the robots looked better. All the uh, the 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 monsters, the, even the mm-hmm. Abominable Snowman, he looked good. Uh, the Tauntauns, I mean, you can kind of <clears throat> tell. But again, I, I, I try not to judge people for 2020 as opposed to judging them for 1980 when it came out. Oh, the effects? Yeah. I try not to. I do. Oh. <laughs> but I try not to. So the Tauntauns looked, they, you could tell they were CGI. Uh, obviously, there's no animals that look like that. Yeah, yeah they were like weird um, stop motion. Yeah, kind of like, yeah. So, but it actually looked pretty good, though. It looked way better than anything in the number four. So, just that to wasn't be honest, CGI'd in. Um, even if it was. Because they CGI'd a bunch of shit in there in the like special edition oh, version after that, fact. Movie that we saw on Disney Plus. There's a ton oh, of shit in that one that well, wasn't Jabba. in the original. Jabba, yeah. the Dubex, like those big lizard things that the Stormtroopers were riding. There was like those big four legged, oh, really? tall horse giraffe things in the street. Those weren't original. None of that was originally in that. See, I like those. Those are, what do you call them? The do back things, yeah. like the big lizards. I had a toy of one of those when I was a kid. I thought it was fucking sweet. It you so had a little button on its back, and its mouth would open and close, and it came with a stormtrooper with like the orange shoulder pad. Wait, so they did have it in the old ones? No. They weren't in the original releases of them, but when I was a kid, they, that was when, like, the Star Wars Special Edition movies were coming out, like, on DVD and VHS and all that shit. Because I had the original ones on tape. But then they had, like, the Special Edition ones yeah. coming out, so they released all the merch for it. Oh. And I had a, I had quite a bit of it. Okay. That's where most of my allowances went, was what? for, like, Star Listen. Wars toys. Got to do what you got to do. It was, like, Ninja Turtles, Star Wars, Power Rangers. All the good shit. Pokemon. Yeah. So, like, most of my money went as a child. Hell yeah. And then eventually video games. But yeah, be even better. Um, <clears throat> and any place that all those things could intersect with video games. That's fair. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's I like that. I like the overall feel of the movie on hot. Um, <laughs> Darth Vader, my second like. He is so much better this time around. Oh, God, yes. Which he, isn't hard to do it, 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 from the first one. Well, that's where the lore was, right? That's where everyone's like, oh, I love Darth Vader, blah, blah. But this one, he's just like, fuck it, I'm killing everybody. Yeah. And that's how he is in real life. Well, in, you know, <laughs> my make believe. So I wasn't Rogue One. <laughs> I mean, yes. All right, so Darth Vader is, is always a win. He's always good. Uh, he's good in this. He's really good in this movie. I really do like him. Um, I like the fact that he doesn't take shit from Aaron, he takes shit from no one, <laughs> but then he's still like yes master to the mm-hmm. emperor. And I'm like, I love it. I love it. He, but he doesn't really have allegiances. To be fair, he does not. At the very end, yeah. After he cut, he's like. 
come, let's rule the galaxy. You can be the emperor. Yeah. To be fair, he can be the emperor. He does. Does he? Spoiler alert, Chris. Come oh, on. sorry. I don't remember, honestly. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> You'll I, forget by the next I, episode. Honestly, to be honest, I don't remember what happened. There you go. I really don't. I, I keep trying I to think. Knew. I'm like, did I watch it? I don't remember how Vader dies. I know he dies. I know he takes his helmet off. Mm-hmm. And it's like an egg. I don't remember what happens pre and post that. I really don't. And not much happens post that, because that's almost at the very end of the movie. Right. It's toward the end of the movie. But, like, pre... I don't remember... Yeah, I just don't remember, man. That dude, That's crazy. I probably I can, should. I can refresh you, or you can go... Or you can we just, watch. just watch the next one. Yeah, we just watch the next one. Yeah. We will. Yeah, yeah, fair, fair. Um, I know Chewie gets a... You will try. I, I do remember the end. I'll be honest, I probably fell asleep. <laughs> um, That's not cool, but I probably did. <laughs> but I do remember Chewie getting a medal. No, he didn't get a medal. I remember... No, he, doesn't get, he doesn't get a medal until, until the nine. sequel trilogy. Yes. Fair. Um, Poor guy. I do remember the Ewoks being around the yes. parade. That's all I remember. And I remember the ghost. I remember the mm. ghost. I remember seeing young Anakin. Oh, that filled my heart with so much joy. See, it was so different. When I was young, it was it was old man Anakin. It wasn't right. Hayden Christensen Anakin, no. which I think I was a little salty about at some point in my life Aww. that they changed it. Aww. But I've since come around. You were? I think I was at one point. I was like, what the hell is this? This wasn't what I watched when I was a kid. And I, at the time, I was probably like, 18, 19. <laughs> I take you. I take you as an originalist, and then you change your thinking. I can definitely be changed. I can be swayed. Yeah, and but I case, take you like from the jump, like off of like so, like you're an originalist. You're like, hey, 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 hey. I can be. I can be given that flaw for sure. But I can be. I can be turned to the dark side. I'd be, I'd be liking. Change. Or from the dark side, I will embrace change if it's good change. And sometimes it takes me a little bit to see a change as a That's good change. Fair. That's fair. That's and okay, though. You can, we'll at least you can admit it. that. We'll get to it in that next episode that I think it is a good change. I don't know. The ghost thing. But oh, we'll yeah. Get, but we'll get there. Well, yeah, because they show Obi-Wan. So, don't they? Don't they show young Obi? No. It's still old Obi? Yeah, it's still old Obi-Wan, but they show young Anakin. Which, which makes sense. Yeah. Because it's at that point, like, he was still young Anakin when he became Darth Vader. When, like, he Facts. crowned, like, christened him or whatever, Darth Vader. I was like, all right. When I actually thought about it, I was like, yeah, that actually does make yeah, sense. Yeah, that makes sense. This is better. Yeah. Because who the fuck is this old dude? At the Yeah, at that point. And because he knew Obi-Wan, we didn't know Obi-Wan as young Obi-Wan. Yeah. We knew and fell in love. Well, I, I didn't, but you guys did. Fell in love with young Obi-Wan, or old Obi-Wan. I fell in love with young Obi-Wan. After, though. Like, you liked old Obi-Wan first. I don't remember having a story like, oh man, this dude's awesome. This old wasn't. man's great. He There's wasn't. something about this old man that is electrifying. Not no. in this franchise. Not in, or not, sorry, not in this trilogy. No. Agreed. Um, okay. Definitely didn't think Obi-Wan was a sweet character in the original trilogy. Yeah, that's Still fair. don't. That's fair. Um, been there, done that. He gets to coast on the actions of young Obi-Wan. That's also fair. Um, let's see. Last like. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. So sorry. Um, I like the Hoth Troopers. The Stormtroopers? Yeah. They looked sweet. The Snow Troopers? The, oh. They looked awesome. So can I say the, okay, if you look over there, I have a Star Wars hat. Yep. That insignia of the Emperor mm-hmm. Empire, I'm sorry, I didn't know that was always around. Hmm. I thought that was only in the new trilogy. It's the only reason why I bought the hat, honestly. Hmm. I don't care about the Rebels, so I didn't buy it for that. Oh, their insignia is way less cool than oh, the Empire. Oh, it's Empire's dumb. Yeah. yeah, it's dumb. I don't even get it. Explain it to me. I don't know. Yeah, same. So I was like, oh, yeah. And someone's like, yeah, that's been around for so long. I'm like, no, it hasn't. This is new. This is the, what do they call it? Not the Empire. What do they call it? The, the Republic. New one? Is it the Republic of the new one? Oh, and then like the new trilogy, yeah, the yeah, yeah. trilogy? Uh, first Order. I thought that was a First Order thing. I'm pretty sure their symbol is different. It starts off as that on 7, mm. on Force Awakens. Okay. And then I think it changes okay. when they do the 
No, that was the first one where they do the whole how Hitler thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh. Either way, I thought it was the same. It looks good. Yeah. And I didn't know until I said I watched Star Wars. I was like, this has been around forever. Like yeah. someone previously told me and I didn't believe them. Fuck them. This is great. I'm learning new things. <laughs> so, But in the cockpit of the, um, what is it? The, a, the AT-AT? Mm-hmm. Or no, no, no. In the Imperial Walkers, in the cockpit of that, they show them driving yeah. it. And they just look good. Like, you can see the insignia. It's all red and against the white. And then the, and then the clan <clears throat> troopers come through. The wo- I love them, too. <laughs> they look amazing. I was like, I was like, man. Yeah, I see it, You though. guys get it, right? Clan, Don't you? Because the they, like, cover their mouth with the... It's great. I was like, oh, man. Came just, in with their burning letter T's dude. for time to go. <laughs> I was excited. I was like... <gasps> They look like the clan. I almost said it out loud, and I was like, "I'm gonna save it because God, <laughs> I know Chris doesn't see it, but I see it, uh, and I'm I ex- do see it. I know. But you I got still kind of think they look cool, though. No, no, no. The troopers, not the clan. <laughs> the clan look like fucking morons. Yes, but, with, the, sto- but the snow troopers, they look they look intimidating. Both of both sides, like because okay, the ones that are in the Imperial Walker don't mm. have that little no. over the mouth. But they still look good. Yeah. But they don't look. Oh, yeah, because like, they have that, like that black pilot outfit thing. Yeah. yeah. With the shiny helmets yes. and shit. Yes. Yeah. Like every. Okay, so when I growing up, the officers looked like doofuses though. Those big fucking yeah, gray those, helmets. They look like idiots. Oh wait. Wait, which helmets? The like the giant like fucking gray helmets with like the little fins coming off. The oh, kind of looks like Darth Vader. Kind of looks like. Darth, no, kind of looks like fucking dark helmet from Spaceballs. Yes. It's like the yes. giant oversized helmets. Yes, yeah, that's what it looks. Those like. ones look fucking dumb, doofuses. I was like, I, did Darth Vader like, you know what? I kind of want him to look like me, but not like me. Yeah, I want like to look a like worse me, version but of me. Worse, yeah. You're not gonna yes. look better than me. No, no. You're gonna get a cooler helmet Listen, than I am. If, I, if I'm a leader, that's yeah, fair. I get the best helmet. Absolutely. It's like being a parent. All helmets are worse than mine. My son first, can get leftovers. First okay? decree. Yeah. All helmets are worse than mine. Absolutely. Not nothing, nothing, nothing more important than that? Nope. nope. Not at all. Nope. <laughs> so that's, that can be number two. Yes. So that's my whole thing. So they look good. Um, so, oh, I was, what I was saying was my first, not my first, growing up, Stormtroopers look like episode four Stormtroopers. I didn't know there were different versions. Mm-hmm. So when I saw that there were different, ver- like, episode two? I was blown away. The clone troopers, yeah, because because some of them were red. Mm-hmm. Listen, yeah, they had all, then, all kinds of different colors. Here's the, okay. I think I'm biased because <clears throat> growing up, there's a lot of stuff I didn't know about Star Wars because I was boring. <laughs> I'm not saying I think that way now. <laughs> not saying that, but that's there's the way a, I thought. There's a pause there, but that's all right. But <clears throat> growing so then. I didn't see them. So growing up watching the prequel trilogies, PT, mm-hmm. and then the sequel trilogies, ST, Stormtroopers were, like, amazing. I was like, these little white, non-shooting people guys mm-hmm. don't like them. They're yeah, because the, the ones in the new ones look pretty sweet, too. Listen. The new helmets, I liked them. The red, first off, the episode two and three, the red ones, and all, they had different colors, too. Mm-hmm. And I was like... This is even though it was CGI, didn't really like that, but it was still okay, still looked good. I get why it had to be, but I feel like you should have like a couple that aren't CGI, but I think all of them were CGI. If they had their helmet on, there was CGI, probably. So I was like, okay, cool, but they still look good. Mm-hmm. Kind of reminded me mm-hmm. of the Clone Wars, that's literally what it looked like. It didn't look any different, yeah, cool, like that, like Clone Wars, boom. We get to seven, and I was like, what the f- This is great. Mm-hmm. Seven, eight, nine, those troop, Kylo Ren's people. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, Captain Phasma. Then the the red group and the... And yeah, the, like, the, oh. like the Royal Guard thing. So... There's and, some of those in the next one. They don't look as cool, but there's like red armor. I mean, there were some in episode three. The red, like, yeah. the red cloak dudes that Yoda... Knocked out immediately. About yeah, but yeah, you're right. They didn't look as they good. They didn't though. look as good. They didn't look as cool, but they still look pretty. They just stood out because they were bright red and everyone yeah. else was like black. I, d- or white I didn't or think gray. they were troopers, though. No, they're just like guards. Yeah, so I didn't like them. Which somehow but, makes them even less useful. Fair. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> Here's our most powerful man. Give him some piece of shit to look after him. Soldiers on the front you know, on the front lines, no. slightly less shitty. <laughs> Lead shields, everything. Yeah, um, armor that armor that won't stop a laser blast. The Red Guard or a staff. The Last Jedi. Yeah. Oh, they look they look pretty sweet. Damn good. I was like, okay. And then Kylo Ren's people look so good. Who we only got to see briefly. Saw in seven and then nine. They were on vacation in eight yep. because you know. Because we didn't like name? seven. What's his name was like, fuck it. He said I'm fucking this whole world up. I said I, you know, I can go on and on about that, but And we will. I am. But <laughs> I didn't hate it though. To be fair, no, um, <laughs> I didn't hate it either. So I think I'm a little biased, a tad bit, for the original trilogies because I saw so much good shit before the original, seeing the original trilogy, and I was like, "Well, this can't measure up." And that's not that's my fault. I'm happy about it, but that's mm-hmm. my fault. So, besides going on and on about the new Star Wars. <laughs> Back to Empire Strikes Back. I'm done with my likes. That's it? <laughs> that was it. All right, my turn. Sorry. My. My. My turn. Jim was laughing. He was laughing. <laughs> um. All right. So we had a similar like. Hoth. Yes. I like the settings of this movie a lot. Because in the last one, you got Tatooine and you got the Death Star. And you got the Rebel base on Yavin for like a second. Hmm. That. This one, you got Hoth, you got Dagobah, you got space, you got the inside of a fucking space worm's mouth, mm-hmm. you got, I already said Dagobah, Bespin, Cloud City, you got a bunch of different things that really kind of played with the fact that they were in space. They're like, oh, we can actually go to other planets. Mm-hmm. Let's go to a few in one movie. Yeah. Just to kind of flex a little bit. Yeah. And show what we can do. Hoth was amazing. Mm-hmm. You got the... You got to see, like, a little abominable snowman monster punch Luke the fuck out. You got to see the snow speeders taking down the, um, the AT-ATs, like in that really old movie, Captain America Civil War. Um, you got you got to see the fucking Empire storm in their base. You got to see Vader rolling up in there, chasing the fucking Millennium Falcon out of the, out of the yeah. hold of that place without even knowing that Luke was, like, apparently right next door because he was walking by. Oh, oh, look, there was a Millennium Falcon. He could have waved at it. They probably would have seen him. But, yeah, I thought Hoth was great. I thought this movie had a lot of good settings. Um, I liked, I loved the snow speeders versus the AT-ATs while also seeing the inside of the base. Like, everyone's, all right, this transports away, transports away, and the Walls are caving in in some parts of the base because the adats are closing in and they're just like shaking the ground. And between that and the gunshots, I also might be biased because I had, I had a bunch of Star Wars toys when I was a kid. I had like little miniature sets that I had, and one of them was this, I had like two or three of them that were the Hoth set. One of them was like a giant. It was like almost like a suitcase that you unfolded. It had like two different sides. It had an inside the base and an outside the base side. Oh, yeah. And one of them was like a flat one. That had just like a, it was just like a big flat plane of ice, and it had the shield generator into the side of a mountain, and it had the fucking ion cannon ball thing on top of a mountain. They had the cannon on top. When I was a kid, my mom made me a birthday cake. It was a fucking Star Wars Hoth birthday cake. She took pieces from all that shit and put it on there. She took a Dixie cup, like a paper cup, from the bathroom, turned it upside down on top of it, frosted that, and put that fucking gun on top of it. So it looked. Like, it was on a tall mountain, like on the movie. It looked so fucking good. And I wish I had a picture of that cake because it was so sweet. But Do your saw, parents have one? Probably not. I don't oh, know. That would be sweet. I, if I could find if I find one at some point in my life, I will keep it because it's yeah. it's one of – it's an amazing memory I have as a, a child. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I remember it so vividly, no, but I do. I, I know why. And I'm probably biased for toward this scene because I thought it was great and it made a great cake. Perfect. It made a delicious scene. Yes. <laughs> so I really the payoff's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be same video. Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> payoff's gonna be happy birthday to game. <laughs> Except it's me. Uh, same. Um, Luke 
spider man up to the belly of that ad at and cutting it open and throwing a bomb up there mm. and then dropping like 50 feet. Unscathed. Dropping. Yep. And then when it blows up and doesn't land on top of him. Yep. Amazing. Easy. I, I saw that. Because <laughs> I remember watching it and like it just falls to the side and I'm like, he would be right there. And I'd be safe. He'd be all right. He'd if he okay. didn't move, he'd be all right. He might be buried. I mean, be all right. the fire might have. Might explode. Yeah, the explosion might have got him. But okay. <laughs> But the falling giant piece of machinery, he wouldn't find. Listen, I get it. Um, next, like Yoda, mm. terrified me as a child, and then as I got a little older, and after, especially after I saw the prequels, I was like, man, he is. This is kind of tragic, because he went from being the head of the Jedi Council, mm-hmm. which he mentions in this movie. Yeah, he mentions it, but it just you know it doesn't sound like anything because. It, there's no he's there's no fucking Jedi yep. at this point in time. He's uh-huh. he's like, oh, this is what I used to do. Great, Same. show me. Well, then they did, and it was awesome. Mm-hmm. And you're like, all right, this guy can get shit done. And you see all that he can do. He can do all these flips. He can catch lightning, and he can lift all kinds of shit. And then in this one, he's like, man, it's he was already old in those. Mm-hmm. But he's like, it's like when an old person retires, and they don't have like anything to keep him going. Back. So he's like, they really start aging. Yep. It was like that, and it was like kind of tragic. But like he was also, it seemed like he was kind of a little crazy. But it might have been an act when Luke first lands, and he's like mm. mocking him, and she's like, oh, "Okay, I get your shit, bro." And he's eating his food and just like digging through his boxes and just throwing shit over his back. Found his little lamp flashlight and was messing with it and whacking R two D three with a stick because he tried to take it from him. He was probably just real happy to see another living person that <laughs> right. wasn't a fucking ghost of Obi Wan. Right. <laughs> I got someone else to talk to on this fucking planet Besides and a be. robot I can kick around a little he bit. He doesn't even want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> he can be anywhere, and he's just showing up to give me a dirty look every now and then. Tell me how horrible this movie. Yeah, is. I really screwed up. He <laughs> really screwed up by getting me to sign this contract, Yoda. I don't want to be in these movies. Same. Same. <laughs> but I love Yoda now. I he scared me as a kid, but he's like he's. He's still kind of that. He's still got that old like Jedi high and mightiness about him. That like once he starts teaching him, yeah. he kind of falls right back into the old ways of like, oh well, you can't do this. Fear, you can't be afraid. You can't be angry. You have to be this way. You have to do this. And you're like, man, no wonder you guys failed. <laughs> you're setting Luke up to try to be this like perfect version of himself yes. that he cannot and will not be. Never. Because we've seen that he will attain some measure of Jedi strength and ability, and he will start his own Jedi Academy, and he will fuck it up. Spoiler alert. Baby Yoda dies. He has to, unless someone saves him from that, too. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, Yoda was a like. I love that he's like kind of a crazy old man, but he's kind of also not. It is still awesome when he picks the ship up out of the swamp. Because Luke's like, I can't, it's too big. And it's like, fuck you, big. I'm two feet tall. Watch this. <laughs> and picks that fucking shit up and is, looks at Luke and says, like, you want the impossible. Yeah, that's why you're bad at this. <laughs> and he goes back to his fucking hut and eats a stick. I don't know. I love Yoda now. Fair. Prequel trilogy used to go a long way to help that. Also, the sequel trilogy is when he comes back, and I'm looking forward to that part, talking about it. Because he's yeah. a puppet man. And yeah, I love you. you, you, you said um, that I like me. Puppet Yoda. Yeah. yeah um, I remember you telling me that. A couple more likes and I'll be done. <laughs> oh, it's okay. R2 D2 and C3PO. I'm going to mention him every time. Always. John Williams. I'm going to mention him every time. I was going to say it, Danny. Uh, <laughs> I was going to like answer it like, don't forget John Williams. Yeah, Not I, that you I forget. Couldn't. I couldn't. I know. How could I? Know. How could I, know. I mean, literally, I heard the Darth Vader theme probably three oh. times this film. And I was like, this is great. All the different character themes. Yeah, you were, you were um, humming along. I was humming along with all of all them. All of them. I was like, big <laughs> fucking nerd. I was like, I hate Leia's theme. I don't really hate it. I just, it's just like super soft and that kind yeah. of annoying. Luke's theme, I just think of Tatooine mm-hmm. every time. And I'm like, oh, okay, got it. Sand. Two moons. Sand. So, of course, I hate it. All right, same. <laughs> same. Yeah. But, yeah, John Williams, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Darth Vader. Sam? You said it, and I'm going to agree with you. He was awesome in this movie. So I mean, good. he was not, not awesome in the last one, but this one, you're like, okay. 
He was killing all of his subordinates. Mm-mm. He was like, oh, you failed me. No one questioned his religion in this yeah, one. Yeah, Because he was choking everybody. Like, oh, your, your ancient, your sorcerer's ways and your ancient religions hasn't conjured up the stolen right. data tapes. <laughs> <laughs> there's none of that. It's like there's the one guy he he disagrees with them, but it's not even like egregious. He's like, I don't. Know. Yeah, I, I was like, dude, like the droid that picked up something. Uh, that could be anything. Yeah, but I, it's them. Vader, you're grasping at straws here, man. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like the last one. We were like, what are you talking about? Like they were. That was. He I think gave, that was Vader gave him a couple chances. In this was one that one too. of my dislikes? I was like. Why are they disrespecting yeah. the, the strongest did they man not ever? Know? Did they they not did. Know? They, they did. learned. They learned. They, they did learned. know. They got you a will. choke slam. <laughs> Five minutes and then <laughs> went by. Every person in this movie who disappointed him or failed him, they got it just died. Same. Or that what was it? When it was like the three dudes on the hologram talking to the newly appointed, I think, admiral at the time. And the one of them just like fucking disappeared because his ship got hit by an asteroid and exploded. I don't remember seeing that. It was like, it was on screen and it was just the dudes like, what? Oh, and then, yeah. And then it's like, thing disappeared. Oh, like, was these that dudes what that were was? literally dying. Because you were laughing. I was laughing my ass he, off. Like, but it, yeah, because that dude just fucking died. I thought he just walked out of the screen. No, he and died. I thought it was like kind of like a movie. Because they, they showed, like, right, right before thing? that part, they showed, like, one of the Star Destroyers get hit by an asteroid. And then the mm. three dudes in the ones like, Oh, like throws his hands up he, and just yes. fades away. Like that dude's fucking dead. That's hilarious. And the dude who saw it was like, "Man, we're dying. I should go ask Vader if we can get out of here." Yeah. And then someone came up and was like, "Hey, the Emperor wants to talk to you." And he's like, "All right, let's get out of here." And they're all like, "I was like, fucking good." Because yeah. if I asked him to leave, well, he would have made a stay. Well, the one that was a, it wasn't a hologram; it was a video, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Blah blah,", blah. and he started choking the dude in the video. Yeah. In the background of it, yeah. He's like, you failed me for the last time, Admiral. (laughs) And he's like, don't fail me again, Admiral, Admiral, whatever your new name is. Yeah, and he's like, oh, shit. He was promoting people. He was hiring from within. He was promoting from within. That's fair. And he was doing all those dudes a favor. When he wasn't killing you, you were getting promoted. I feel like you didn't want to get promoted. This is the company where you're like, "Mm, you know what, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I will. I mean, maybe you don't like the guy who's ahead of you. And then you're like, all right, I don't want it that way, but I'll take it. But I'm like, yeah, man. Hey. No, because then it's you. Yeah, yeah, you're like, oh, man, my good buddy just got promoted. Hope he does a real good job. Here's the funny thing. None of them blasted that low to no. tell anybody. No. <laughs> hey, honey, I got that big promotion. <laughs> Next day, like, your husband's dead. <laughs> what happened? He got he the promotion. He got promoted. That's he got bad. demoted. He got choked out. He got... Oh, well, you got <laughs> the big show came and fucking you said it choke slam the shit out of him dead last like I'm gonna throw out there because it's oh, actually no I'm gonna say it's a like the I love you scene when Leia's like I love you no yep. shut up baby I know it <laughs> And then they freeze him. He goes, like, it's iconic. And I almost wanted to say it's a dislike because it's become, like, overused in things outside the movie. But that's not the movie's fault. So I'm not going to make a dislike. I'm going to throw a like. Um, Yeah. Those are my likes. Also, Luke was less of a bitch in this movie. Yeah, he kind of was. Yeah, I get what you're saying. He cut off a rope. He cut off a Sasquatch's arm. Cut open an ad at had a I don't know, I'm gonna throw another one. Pretty decent lightsaber duel with Vader. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was streets ahead of Obi Wan versus Vader. He did twirl from, like Obi Wan. <laughs> it was way better than A New Hope. Take the twirl. Take the twirl. <laughs> way better than that one. I'm gonna, but I'm it was gonna a, do the spin. Good. It was a in my opinion, a pretty good. good duel for it was good. especially for yeah. this trilogy. Good. Duel and Light Vader years. was clowning him too. Yeah, when, he was one handed. Yeah, when, yeah, because yeah, that he was one handed mm-hmm. him. Because in some scenes, his other hand was like, "Oh, throw this box at you, rip this pipe off the wall, whip that through that window, and suck you out into this vacuum." Let me throw another crate at your head. I'm just gonna ragtag you the whole way, and then I'm gonna cut your hand off and tell you I'm your dad. Fair. 
That's how these things go. As I, they I work. guess. <laughs> Let me give you a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. I'm going to get angry like it's that. Done. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, um, that, it, I, funny, I say that to my girlfriend all the time, not because of this movie. What? She's like, I love you. I'm like, I know. She hates it. Absolutely. Does she know it. it's from this? Uh, I pointed out to her like last year because I finally saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey. Come look at this. So you're not gonna mm-hmm. like. <laughs> and she was like, "You do this because of this." I'm like, "No, no. I just do it because no. I'm an idiot. I do it because you hate it." <laughs> also, yes. <laughs> and I just do it because I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's not even funny to me. It's just I just do it. <laughs> it's not even funny. It's just sad. <laughs> Same. <laughs> um, okay, so those are your likes. Yes. All right, dislikes. You or me? Up to you. I feel like you want me to go first. Do you want to hear my dislikes? <laughs> Do you want to hear my dislikes? Sure. Okay. Dagobah is so boring. That's fair. I hate it. That's what made me. I started watching Empire Strikes Back years ago. Uh, just the same thing with episode four. I watched episode four, I think, in its entirety a couple years ago. and But I've been trying to watch episode four for years before that. Since the see. When the prequels came out, try to watch them. I was like, I don't even need to know this because <laughs> that's his father and that's his sister. And I don't even know if they have sex, but maybe I didn't know anything about it. So I Man, just I hope not. I just let it be. I was like, OK, well, prequels. I know the beginning <clears throat> and the beginning was great. Um, <laughs> or I should say from Attack of the Clones on was there great. There it is. And I was like, okay, this is all I need to know. And I know that's his father. From Darth Maul on, it was great. Yeah, I was like, I don't really need to see these. I don't need to see that. I don't need to see that scene. And I, so I let it be. And then I was like, okay, what? maybe I need to watch the whole thing. Because honestly. What? I, what? So I'll let it be. I just like not watch it. Oh, God. I was like, yeah, I'll just let it be. It's fine. The way it is. It doesn't need me to watch it to be <laughs> classic for everyone to love it. But I was like, but then people were talk about it because I'm a Star Wars fan. They're like, yeah, in Empire Strikes Back, when you find out that this happens, I'm like, I thought that happened in the first one. I thought the whole dad thing was the first one. Because then I was like, okay, maybe I should watch this whole thing. So I did. Okay, fine. Then I watched it and I was like, that's when I, I used to really judge it. I was like, okay, that's not real. That alien isn't real. <laughs> that alien isn't real. Dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. So that's, but then I changed my mind. I was like, okay, Empire Strikes Back. Started it. I remember the ice planet, but I still was kind of bored. I was like, eh, whatever. Then I tried it again. And um, it got to Dagobah with Yoda. And I was like, this is dumb. I watched it now. It was a lot better. Yeah. But I, I was like, no, I'm okay. I was like, I don't want to. I don't want to do any of this. <laughs> yeah. So when Yoda came on the screen, and I know Yoda's so beloved, but then when I saw the way he looked, I was like, uh. <laughs> and then to, to that, I wrote Yoda down as you were telling me about Yoda, like your love for him, and I wrote it down just now. And because, dislikes. Yes. That's fair. Not because of Yoda, but because how he was acting before he was found out to be Yoda mm. and the way he like turned. And I was just like, what did that need to happen? Oh, because he's acting like a kooky old yeah, idiot. Yeah, I didn't like that. No? I was like, Yoda's better than that. Like when he was messing around with Obi in the prequels, I was like, okay. <laughs> it, but then even when he was like having fun. Lost a planet, Master Obi-Wan has. That was like In front fun, of the kids. But he wasn't like being an idiot. Yeah, because he had an audience. And so, right, he wasn't being an idiot because he had an audience. So now he doesn't have an audience, and he's like, "Fuck it, I'm a fuck We're in the show. audience." Same. And then <laughs> even in nine, mm-hmm. seven, eight, even in eight, he's like, he's like, "Oh, you think the books are blah blah?" blah and he starts laughing his head off. He still was like, "Yeah, but you're dumb, Obi Wan or Luke." Mm-hmm. I know more. Like he was still. He had wits about himself. Yeah. 
He's like, I taught you everything you know. Yeah, in this I didn't one, teach everything I know. That's fair. Still gonna did, keep did he say that? From, no. I like. Oh, he's like, I'm, I'm really you know, I still got. I still I, better new. I know I'm supposed to like. There is no try. There's only do. Mm-hmm. I know I'm supposed to like that, and I don't not like it. I just. But it's don't. not a great teaching method. It's not also, but I. It's not even that that I have a problem with. It's just Yoda and himself. Because I feel like he's better than that. Yeah. And I don't understand why everybody loved him so much. That's like, fair. I didn't get it. I was like, okay. And then in the next one, I'm like, okay. He dies. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. where's the love coming from this green dude at? Like, people love Yoda. And I'm like, I don't get it. I don't like him. I feel like Aaron. I don't get it. Don't <laughs> Is she it. like a good cook or what? I don't get Is it. Is she like funny or something? She's like a 10 out of a 40, okay? I don't <laughs> get it. Is she funny? Okay, so that's it. That's enough about Yoda. Okay, so Dagobah was just boring. I just thought it was boring. I get it. We're supposed to be watching his training, but that's kind of boring, too. Honestly. Training, unless it's done in a montage, even if it is a montage, is usually the boringest part of something. Mostly. If it's in an anime, they stretch it out forever. If it's in, like, this kind of thing, it... Even if it's not stretched out, it still kind of drags. Yeah. If it's in, I haven't. I can't say. I'm gonna say it, but I haven't seen them. The Rocky movies. Yeah. They're done in montages, so they kind of like get them out of the way. Right. So, but th- that's like them saying, "Oh, we know this is boring." Two times. Two times I've liked it. Batman vs Superman. <laughs> ben Affleck training. I was like, okay. Okay. I was like, all right. Like I believe at that moment, I was like, this guy's gonna kick some ass. Not Superman, but he's going to kick some somebody. Somebody. He's going he's gonna to kick some average man's ass. <laughs> he's going to take a mentally handicapped person and <laughs> fuck them up. That's exactly yeah. what I thought. I was like, okay, all right, I like this. Superman, you still got it, but yeah, okay. Uh, second time, Threat Little Midnight. It's the only time. <laughs> Spitting all that water everywhere. <laughs> On his bow flex, yeah. See, exactly. That's what you get. I get so buff. (laughs) Dwight's gym for muscles. Just watch that. (laughs) Um, Okay, so that's it. Um, Clock's ticking on that, by the way. Well, the office on Netflix. I know. I'm almost done. At the time of this recording, I've I've watched like five of them in like the last like day. Like I watched five last night. I'm on. He's on the boat trip. Andy is. Okay. He's like they they wa- they're watching Die Hard in the last episode. At the time of this recording, you got 3 days. That's easy. It's only like 6 or episodes. Like 4 left. days, sorry. It's like 6 episodes left. Mm-hmm. I can do that in the sitting. I can that's, do that after we fair. record this. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> just cook up some chicken tendies and I'm good. <laughs> exactly. I'm run a train on these chicken tenders. <laughs> um something that I pointed out and also, C-3PO did it as well. He did what I pointed out. Leia called him Han. Mm-hmm. And C-3PO did, too, a little bit after that. I was like, do they not know this Everyone was name? saying Han. I was like, dude. They hung out with Lando for like 20 minutes, and they started like talking like 20 minutes. It was like, Han. She's like, what about Han? I was like, wait, don't you love this man? He's saying Han. <laughs> if I pronounce... If I pronounce my girlfriend's name wrong, <laughs> I would be in a yeah, shit. Yeah, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like, like, you're, yeah, she's like, you're doing this on purpose. Yes, actually, absolutely. What's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> not, when he, not when she's passed out, like <laughs> Han was. Mm. God, I was like, I, it's not even a dislike, it's just funny to me. Because yeah. it's, like, it's a continuity error, and it's mm-hmm. like, that's hilarious. And they made fun of it in Solo, I feel like. I feel like that's what, like, they made it into him, like, being a dick and oh, saying his name wrong. So good. Yeah. I loved it. I just Amazing. thought that was, like, yeah, keep it up. And then, um, you know, I was watching something the other day. Uh, so, two things, and this is way off topic. But I was watching, since we did the New Hope episode, mm-hmm. I went back and watched, uh, I think everything was great about New Hope or whatever. And two things that they said that I thought was funny. When Luke comes off. The X Wing and he hugs Leia, he says Carrie. And it's still in the movie. Like, he's like, Is it? it's super subtle, but Dang. he's like, Carrie, because she says Luke at the same time. He's like, Carrie. And then, like, nah. if you notice, like, his face doesn't come up for a second. Oh and he's like, <laughs> he's like, 
the He's best her. one. I was like, that's We did that's 20 hilarious. takes, and that was the best one. <laughs> we didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like some people aren't jumping. Who? <laughs> Kevin, Stanley, Phyllis, <laughs> Meredith, <laughs> Aaron. Wait, I, want, I don't want to miss it. I want to jump really high. <laughs> so... Uh, so that's one. And then two, they were talking about the insert. He didn't like it either. The insert of Java yeah. into the whatever. He was like, this is it dumb. It was jarring. And he said he that was one. And then he was like, it also cut out the myth of Jabba the Hutt. That because he's not in any of the movies until the last one. Nope, but they mention him in all three. They mention him in all three, and they're like that kind of myth kind of built up to. But if you see him in the first in the four, it's like okay. okay. And then you're like, where is he in the next one? Yeah, because they're like, oh, we got to take him to the bounty hunter, bounty hunter, and then it's like he lets him go yeah. in number four, and I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, he's like, yeah, but I got I got a plan. He's like, okay, all right. okay. <laughs> Okay, see you later. So, yeah, that's basically what it is. Kill you later. Same. I guess. So, or I'll fail at it. Um, let's see. The next one. To be fair, I'll be honest. I didn't have a lot of likes. Didn't have a lot of dislikes either because I was kind of just watching a movie. Yeah. I wasn't. I know we do that from time to time, but I was like watching it, not really like taking notes. So I only had like three of each. So you're just enjoying it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to stick with watching. Okay. <laughs> I think that's the word I'm going to stick okay. with. Is You'll get my review later. Um, <laughs> you on. said it. I was thinking it. And that's the only reason why I wrote it down. It's because you said it. I was going to let it be. Uh-oh. I was going to let it be. Uh-oh. And then you're like, oh, gravity took over. And I was like, you know what? Yeah. Now that you mention yeah. it. This he man was jumped down. off of a city. He was falling straight down. And he luckily. Now, here's the thing. And not, no one's ever told me this, and this is something I just thought about. Oh, no. Did he do, like, what Leia did? Did he do the Force? Because if you tell me that, I mean, maybe. I like it. Maybe. If you tell me he... F- There's nothing else you can tell me. Because prior like to it. that, he was shown pulling his lightsaber to himself. Yeah. And then he could pick up some shit. Some he picked up the stuff. ship a little. He moved the ship a little bit. He could pick up some rocks. He could pick up a box. He could pick up Yoda. R2. He could pick up R2-D2. Mm-hmm. And he high jumped. He, like, force jumped out of the carbonite freezing chamber when Vader pushed him in. Oh. He pushed him in. He's like, yeah, oh, yeah. too easy. And, like, points at the fucking lever, and it pulls itself. <laughs> and he, like, looks away to do that. And Luke, like, high jumps out of there only to hang on to the pipes right above it. Doesn't use that to his advantage in any way. Mm-hmm. He had but the high ground. He didn't have a lightsaber. Though. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think he had knocked it out of his hand at that oh, point. Okay, okay, okay. But um, yeah, he had shown to like pull something, lift something, high jump with it. I'm gonna say he probably didn't use the force there because he was also missing a hand and he was kind of fucked up. He was. He could he barely. He could barely maintain his focus to do all those other things. I will say though. With him missing a hand and him holding on to shit for that long, yeah, out in the air in the atmosphere, yeah, I would have dropped. I would have died because he was like he was wrapped all the way around that thing. You're telling me I'm missing my dominant hand? Time for me to go. Right. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I don't care how good your technology is. I gotta go. <laughs> sorry. That's why he jumped from the city. But like he was hanging on, he, and then he found out that Vader was his dad, uh, which did, doesn't really bother me. It doesn't bother me that I knew about it too. Right. Because I really didn't, again, care. Because at the time of, like, the, you know, when the movie was coming out, that was a huge reveal. Yeah. But then, you know, five years later, everybody already fucking knew that shit. Yeah, yeah, fair, fair. And that's the thing, like, it didn't really bother me. And everyone um, was misquoting the line all over the place. So it yeah, didn't you said it. You yeah. said it. Yeah, everyone. I mean, everyone still does. I mean, even we know better, but they still do. Yeah. It's uh, not Luke, I am your father. It's Obi Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No, I am your father. Boom. There's no Luke. I am your there father. There is no it's Luke. I am your father. Right. It's just like when uh, you know Plop was quoting the Die Hard movie. <laughs> Kevin was like, "Yippee cat." He's like, "He doesn't say it there." Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. He's like, "It's okay." No, no, no. You're right. <laughs> so either way, those are my dislikes. Not a lot, but enough. 
So there's that. <laughs> you were just like. It dragged in some spots. Dagobah being one of them. I will agree, I will agree with that. But um, that's the only part, though. Yeah. Because I remember I at th- the end of it. Sorry, sorry. Go no, ahead. Wait, go no, ahead. Go ahead. Well, you said you something happened. I was like, "Are we almost at the end?" You're like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "What? Yeah. We got here quick." When um when Luke showed up on Vespin, you're like, "Oh, we're yeah. getting there, aren't we?" And I was yes. like, "Yeah, we're just about there." Okay, because okay, the first time I ever watched Empire Strikes Back or even seen the scene about him being his father, I thought they were on a Death Star. Mm. So I so honestly, which is you could be forgiven for thinking that because they're near that like they had just flew like not, super flown out that, dark that window. Right. That you that looks like it's on the fucking Death Star, right? And yeah, they were on like this, yeah, black gunmetal gray like platform that in right. seemingly in space. Yeah, I didn't know. I was like, oh, okay, because it looks. Yeah, because where else would you think they were? Because if you then, didn't know where they were, you wouldn't. Aren't they on the Death Star in the next one? Yes, looks the same kinda. to me. To me, kind of to the untrained eye. I was like, even on this one, I was like, wait. Don't they go to? I was like, no, Keith. You know they don't. I was like, but you know they kind of. How did they get to this? You know, like I didn't know. Yeah. But either way, sorry. Go ahead. Not good. Um, yeah, Dagobah dragged a little bit. For me, I don't think Hoth dragged at all. No, I Dagobah I'm dragged weird. a little bit. Um, them in the asteroid field only dragged a tiny bit for me when they were in the worm yeah there was a lot of stuff but but i still like it yeah yeah, yeah. because I like you get han and leia's relationship develops everyone's yeah. annoyed at c-3po which i love because i love him yep yep fair. um so even when it's like dragon i'm still enjoying it no i agree but it definitely dragged on dagobah because training arcs are always the worst yeah but i got to see yoda and see R2 get eaten by a fucking space crocodile and get spit out. Fair. And I still... I can't say I don't understand it. The whole Luke going into the cave and there being a fucking Darth Vader in there. And he's like, what's in there? Only what you take with you. Which... I'm guessing probably means wait, if you're afraid of something and you go in that cave, you're going to see it is like kind of what I took away from that. Mm. So he goes in there and like, you know, he kills Darth Vader and his helmet blows open and it's his face. Mm. Like, was that kind of supposed to be a mind fuck of to like lead into, oh, he's your dad. But maybe this is like some kind of weird red herring to throw you off the trail. Or is it just like, I'm afraid that if I defeat him i'll be him i i guess they could leave that open to interpretation but that was one of the parts that i thought kind of dragged also they really beat the shit out of some slow-mo in it <laughs> <laughs> um but i feel like it was also necessary to drive home the fact that luke wasn't ready to be honest with you every time i see that scene i throw it away because i don't i didn't get it yeah so i'm like like there's times yeah, where i think i, I get know. it because, like I said, I'm like, oh, it's the, you, you want to you take with you fear. Don't take your weapons; you won't need them. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, but why wouldn't he need them if he went in there and saw fucking Darth Vader? But Darth Vader didn't draw his weapon until Luke drew his, the okay. cave Darth Vader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, all right, I don't know what's going on here. Luke shot first. Got yeah, it. Luke shot first in this instance. He drew his saber, and then his not real dad, Vader, was like, all right, you want to play this game? I'm going down. So. Hard. Now, watching it today, I was like, okay, you, I don't know what I thought. I yeah, and I still don't know what I think about that scene, because I feel like I get it, and I also feel like I don't. And then later on, Leota's like, remember your failure at the cave? I was like, so that wasn't supposed to happen. What was supposed to happen? How do you pass that test? That's fair. Do you get the same confusion in eight yes fair do do do, is this would it would it be a dislike or do you like it better actually at at this point i can't even throw that scene as a dislike because i just don't get it but like this me talking about Dago kind of led to that so i'm I'm not including that scene as a dislike okay but yeah i still don't get it Hmm. but yeah like luke just like jumps down a hole 
And then I, sometimes, and so now that I'm and thinking. Ray jumped down a hole and she was in a hall of mirrors. Yeah, fair. Reaching out to her show. Yeah. That was eight, right? Yes. This guy. Um. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think you. Every time I'm about to say something, I'm like, nope, that's not what I think. <laughs> I can't say I dislike it because I don't understand it, because that wouldn't be fair to it. Okay, I think that... By trying too early, he defeated him. He's going to defeat himself, which, okay. he, which he did. Yeah. Like Luke going and trying to face Vader. Because they told him it would happen. Yeah, if you go, you're gonna lose. Yeah, they did. Like, no, they didn't water it down either. Yeah, and he was like, he's like, your friends might die if you don't go. Yeah, but you won't win if you do go. I still right. feel like he made the right choice. Right, because he saved his friends. He made the he made at least a selfless Same choice. Same with Anakin, though. Selfless. I mean, you could say it was selfish because he's like, I'm yeah. gonna go. I have to go. To save my friends. Good intention. Yeah, mm, there it is. There it is, Mustafar. <laughs> he went to save. He went to save his friends. Lost his hand. Yeah, and they kind of didn't need his help because Lando was like, "Yeah, let's." I'm getting screwed here. Let's turn this shit around. And then Luke showed up. Oh well, no, R two helped. I was gonna say, yeah, R two helped. R two helped. I, I kind of feel as though. Archie if, always helps everybody, though. He's fair. always the savior in these fucking things. But he wouldn't have been there if Luke didn't go. No, he wouldn't. So here's my thing. You should have <laughs> sent him. That's fair. Like, Archie, go save my friends while He's I finish my training. <laughs> here's a lightsaber that you can spit out and throw at people. Yep. Um, Just turn it on first. <laughs> I feel like Luke needed to take away Darth Vader's attention for them to get out. That's also probably true. Because I don't think Lando would have got out if it wasn't. Because they were still sneaking around. Yeah, that's fair. And they still almost didn't make it. So, I kind of feel like if Vader was had their attention solely on him, everybody would have died. He would have fucking cut that carbonite open. <laughs> so Just killed on for the fuck of it. Hey, listen. Luke went, and he was like, hey, one in the hand, two in the carbonite. I, we good. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fair idea. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. So yeah, my really only only dislike I would say is probably that Dagobah, much like yours, Dagobah drags a bit, okay. and I can't really say that the rest of it does without, and it like affects it. Mm-hmm. So that's really my only dislike. Fair. So that's your review. Four. Star Wars, number five. Yeah. So that's your review. Yeah. Which four. Oh, I thought. Oh, you thought it was like four? What? Yeah. <laughs> For four. At first, and then I was four like, Star Wars. I'm gonna continue this episode five. Four. <laughs> Empire Strikes Back. Four. The Who, movie. Who's on first? <laughs> yes. Four. Yes. <laughs> I'm I gonna give it a four. I listened to that the other day. <laughs> um. Okay. Four. Yes. Hmm. Is it my turn? Yes. Oh, I don't know if you want to. No, I'm, I'm not going to elaborate. I already did my pontificating on this thing. I'm trying not to give it something out of spite. Honestly, I'm Hurt really me. not. <laughs> who, who would it be spiteful towards? I don't know. The fans? The original trilogy. Me, just because. The movie itself. George Lucas. Alec Guinness. I mean, he probably rated what I rated. If not lower. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm trying to be, but I am, I, I want to be authentic in my scoring. I'm thinking three. Okay. But I kind of want to go 3.25. Just a little bit. Remember, it's not, episode, it's not a new hope. It's not, and I think a two, new hope <laughs> would be 2.5. Yeah, I think you didn't give it above a three. What did I give one, though? I think I gave that a three. Episode one? Yeah. Probably. I think I gave episode one a three also. Yeah. So I think we both had a three for that. I'm pretty sure I also gave it a new hope a three also. 
I'm thinking of the lightsaber battle in uh, Phantom Menace, though. <laughs> I can't really go higher than that with this one. Well, sure. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> We really should keep like a list, like a written list of you our scores for these think trilogy after saga movies. Twenty five episodes. You'd think we're in twenty five. Look at us, something the like that. Silver anniversary. Is that what that is? I don't know. I don't know that stuff. I've never been or cared to be yet, Ooh. and I still am gonna forget. Oh. So Oops. we'll try. Oops. You will try. <sighs> you don't have soft teeth. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> um. I want to say, yes, we probably should write them down. We won't, but we next, should. The next trilogy, okay. I will make an effort to write them down. I will fail in that endeavor, but I'll try. This is why you fail. Damn um, it. <laughs> there's no try. We just, just, want, we just watched it. We Son just... Of a bitch. <laughs> I'm just going to go three. I, I feel like three okay. is good enough <laughs> for it. I honestly don't. I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm moving ahead of myself, but I kind of feel like the Return of the Jedi. It might not get higher than a two point five. I don't think I liked it better. No. Than this one. No. Cause I don't really care for the Ewoks. No. They're kind of stupid and boring. Oh. I didn't like any of that scene. No. And it's a lot. They do a lot. They do a lot. Yeah. And you didn't like any of it. I don't think so. I got to watch it again. Okay. We will watch it. You will. If I remember correctly, I was like, okay, I can do without all this. (laughs) I like the hut scene, even though that was a little long. Oh, the Jabba's Palace? Yeah. I I know. I'm sorry I'm talking about it. We'll get there. No. What if I liked A New Hope better than <laughs> Return of the Jedi? That would surprise me, Ooh, honestly. That would really surprise listen, me. Listen, me too. <laughs> it really would. Just sleep through the whole Just movie. because there's like, I feel like there's good, there's more good stuff in Return of the Jedi than there is in A New Hope. At least for me. There's more, more better. Yeah, there's more better, Fair. gooder stuff. <laughs> Okay, sorry. For I know, me, I'm, for me. There's anyway. no, there's I, can't, no, I, I sh- can't decide for you. I didn't, won't. I certainly won't try to. I shouldn't be talking about it. We no. can wait till next time. It's a movie podcast. No, no, it's fair, but it's not this movie, so I'm going to just keep it. Because <laughs> that s- stops us. Fair. We're not talking about that one today. <laughs> Shut up. So about the <laughs> last action hero. <laughs> well, can we talk about that real it's quick? In this, it's in the canon. It's great. Uh <laughs> I'm the famous um, comedian Arnold Braunschweiger. <laughs> Good times. Um, okay, that's it. So three. I think I said three. Yeah, yep. I'm gonna go three. I, t- I can, that's go. all I can do. Yeah, that's go. all I got. That's all I can give you for your trade. I think I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Best I can do is three. Okay. Okay. As low as I can go. Um, <laughs> with that being said, that is our review of The Empire Strikes Back, yes, episode five. Um, thank you for listening to our Star Wars saga, <laughs> seventh movie. Uh, next movie, Chris won't be surprised by this, is going to be <laughs> Return of the Jedi. <laughs> <gasps> what? Number six. Oh, my God. (laughs) Number eight in our saga. Um, hmm. Because numbers make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Do they not? No, they... I just mean in general, like the numbering for this saga. It's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because just because we threw in Solo and... Because they they threw in unnumbered movies. One thing I did like, actually. Sorry, let me go back to my likes. Ooh. They said Rogue 2. Yeah. And I was like... Is that like Rogue One was? Oh, do I they know like this? It. I feel like it. Here's the thing. So one thing about Star Wars, I keep hearing over and over again, is that everyone's like, "Oh, the prequels were never planned," which not true. Um, they also say George Lucas didn't write any of the sequel trilogies. That's not true either. He he definitely had uh, some input from what I heard. 
Um, uh, what else should they say? Oh, that he, in the first one, he didn't, I, I don't know if this is true or not, but they say he didn't set it up for them to be brother and sister. That he just like, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, whether he did or didn't, it worked. Yeah. So stop trying to just, I don't like the fact that, that number four is like a 10 across the board for some people. <laughs> There's no way in hell or Mustafar <laughs> that that movie is better than every movie ever from Star Wars. There's no way. No chance in hell. Same. Yes. <laughs> it's got an 8.6 on IMDb. I know. This one has like an eight point five, yeah. So, hmm. what's that? That's just interesting to me. It is interesting. It's very interesting. Stop being originalist. It's like being a constitutionalist. Like I only follow the Constitution. Other shit matters. They had to load their bullets one by one. Mm-hmm. Shit is different now. People can have a rocket launcher. Just calm down. So, it's not the same. Sorry, I had to go off on that tangent. Go off on it. But, it's fine. We're good. What are you looking at now? I'm looking, I'm trying to look at all the ratings for on IMDb for all the Star Wars movies. All the original Star Wars movies are in the IMDb's top, like, 20. And I hate it. There's no Fire way. back, 8.7. Oh, is it? Return. Let's see, Return of the Jedi. Eight point three. Fair. Phantom Menace. Oh, that's that's a six point five. Yeah. It's kind of Clone Wars. It's fair. I mean, I don't know. I'm not gonna argue with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So two Attack of the Clones six point five. <gasps> what? Yeah, yeah. I'm. But like, here's the thing. There's a pattern here where if it's not in the original trilogy, it's barely getting above a six. Same. Agreed. Revenge of the Sith. Okay, seven point five. Okay. It was worthy though. Force Awakens. Seven point nine. Now let's go Last Jedi and watch this all fall apart for this. I think it falls apart after. I think the R- 7.0. Yeah, ROS this is where people are just like, like, I'm done. Why? I don't know. I can't wait to watch it, Rise though. Rise of Skywalker, 6.6. You're just bitter. Yeah. You're just bitter. Get a life. <laughs> Get a job, Star Wars. Star Wars fans. Um, Get a here's Find something else to hate. Here's the thing, though. I Besides will your say. favorite thing. The first three movies, not the first three, sorry, sorry, the prequels are being rate. They were rated when it came out and people hated it when it came out. (laughs) If you were to rate it now, it would still go original trilogy prequels the way it came out. That's how people would rate it. And I think Star Wars would get a nine. I think regular, like the New Hope, whatever the fuck it's called, whatever. Uh, I was looking at some other Star Wars stuff. Uh, Mandalorian, 8.8. Well deserved. I kind of agree with that. Like, hello, let's do it. And there's some people who are like, man, it's slow. It is because it's a it's a it's a series. It's not an hour and a half to two hours only movie. <laughs> Top series of cast, one person, Pedro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, I, I. Yeah. So I, listen, I get it. I get you hated it when it came out. I did not hate anything when it came out. I was like, this is great. This is great. And then, you know, still people are like, if it's not the original, then. It's not the original. It's exciting. I'm like, do you. It's got action. I was like, oh, you don't like action? No, I love action. I'm like, when the original. When, yeah. when did. Then the original is not for did, you, sir. How did. Was it when the. Uncle Baru and Aunt Ben, whoever We're was on fire, because yeah. that was the most action out of that whole. Because they should, 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 should. I mean, what do you when, want? Uh, I was like, oh. Uh, was it when the old guy 
fought Darth Vader by standing he did a spin, still. And he did a spin. And the slowest twirl. Solo is a 6.9. Gross. And um, what Rogue One was a 7 something. I didn't see it. it what? Seven. Yeah. It, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it didn't say 8. It said 7 something. God. So, yeah, because I just looked it up. Uh, 7.8. Oh, it's not, not bad. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's if not into the point. IMDb rankings you go, Dude, only pain all you find. The original trilogies are in the top 20 of the IMDb top 100, and I hate it. I hate every moment of it. And I'm like, but they also put like a 1920s film in like the top five. And I was like, fuck mm-hmm. off. Honestly, if you ask me for a top 20 movies of all time, I really like Star Wars. I don't know if the original trilogy definitely wouldn't wouldn't crack it for me. Top 20 movies of all time. Here's for, the thing, like, though. For me. For you, this is IMDb. Yeah. There's a, I think there's a huge difference. Yeah. But Star Wars is, like, is going to be in my top like 20. like a bunch of people that like voted for those yes. movies. Yes. Not the gooder ones. Not the... <laughs> Same. Because some people apparently watch movies for cinematography or for plot Listen. or to be bored. I watch a movie to be entertained. And if you can throw those things in with it, that's great. Yeah. If you can make it Star Wars flavored and have it be good too, that's awesome. I yeah, like I said, for for me, I, I get it. But again, for IMDb though, I hate it. I hate it. I hate did, it. Like at a certain point, did people just stop voting on things in there? Because movies have come out since these movies. Other movies have, yes. Yeah, like not even Be- just Star better, Wars movies. Better movies. But just like other movies. There's some movies that we've reviewed that are better than the original Star Wars. Yeah. I'm just saying. Nostalgia. It's nostalgia. Yeah. That's what it is. I mean, I said it for this one. The The birthday cake was a big thing for me. Yeah, that's fair. But I also still really like the movie. I, like, mean, I, I can separate the cake from the movie. I, I like them both. I would only eat one of them. I would only sit and watch one of them. That's fair. Because I can separate the two. That's fair. Okay. I was wrong. The Empire Strikes Back's in the top 20. What about the other ones? They're not? No. 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 I was wrong. And that doesn't surprise me because I know a lot of Star Wars fans consider Empire Strikes Back to be the peak of the series, of the franchise, and nothing will ever surpass it. I'm like, all right. I mean, it's it's a to me, it's a very good movie. Yep, but New Hope is 29, <laughs> and I don't know. Because I know a lot of people think Return of the Jedi was the worst of the original trilogy. And I'm like, did you did you see the first one though? Did you see the first? One? <laughs> um, I don't know how they're doing it, but they type. I just don't like Lord of the Rings, so whatever. I'm off of it. I'm gonna leave it alone. But Schindler's, Schindler's List is number eight. I've never seen it. Not a fun read. <laughs> um, Angela. Barely ashes. Um, <laughs> all right. Oh, we're off. We're just, just talking at this point. Um, okay. So make sure you follow us on Twitter at Slushy Review. Slushy Review Podcast on Instagram and Slushy Review on YouTube. Anything else? If you're going to get on IMDb and vote for a movie... Don't do it out of spite. My top 20 in game is up there. Probably also, honestly. A- ahead of the original trilogy. Ahead of the prequel trilogy. Okay. Yeah. Mm, no, I don't know. Ben just said this so good. I don't know if I could. No, in game is I don't know if I could throw you a top 20. I like, could, off the top of my head, I couldn't no, throw you a top no, 20. No, no, I have no. to think about it. No, 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 no. We should, that should be an episode, though. We should do that. Man. Top 20. Think about it for a minute. Like just movies in general. Write it Can down. I prepare ahead of time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Write it down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not off the Like fly. come into it with a list. This is a three, that's a yeah, three-hour long episode. Because it'll be a lot of number 20. <laughs> then you go, number 19. No, no, no. Okay, number yeah, 20 yeah, like, is no, no, 19. I got to move them around. I would need like a giant whiteboard next to me so I could like erase them and move them. Yes. I would have to write yes. down all the, all the movies. That I wanted ahead of time. Look then, like, like Charlie with the string. Yeah, it's like, it's, 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 it's this, this one, it's this one. I gotta, I gotta redo it. I gotta redo it. I, gotta, I, know, what I, I know what I gotta do. Top 20. I know what I gotta do. Top 20. Tied at one. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect list. Yeah, one. It's a 20-way tie. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I don't know if I could do it. It'd be hard. That's what it she would said. be. <laughs> or he. It would be interesting. Okay. I'd be kicking. I know as soon as we'd be done, I'd be like, that's my top 20. I forgot this. <laughs> yes. I know I would. Yes. I know I, I would. agree. And I'd be like, how could I have forgotten insert movie title here? The cable guy. <laughs> Simple. I know I'd forget it. I forget it. Would it be it. in your top 20? Absolutely. Okay. I love the cable guy. It is probably one of my favorite movies that I won't get to see often. Okay. So when I watch, it was Matthew Broderick, Jim Carrey, did Jack you watch Black. It? Did you watch it with me and Tyler? I don't think so. Or is that Jake? Me, you, and Tyler have never watched a movie together. We've never gotten through a movie. We've together. never watched. <laughs> <laughs> it must. I think it might have been Jake then. Yeah. No. I. Yeah, yeah, that we sounds have right. Not. Yep. That sounds right. I love the Cable Guy. It is by far one of my favorite movies. That the Mass. Anything Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is going to be uh, littered. Do that list. Medieval Times fight. Yes. So singing good. the Star Trek. <laughs> I love it. Andy Dick. Is Andy Dick the king? It. Yes, Andy Dick. Yeah. Yes. Everybody's there. Janine Groffalo's the waitress. Yeah. Everybody from the 90s is in that fucking movie. I fucking like Ash, uh, Leslie Mann. She's the uh, Matthew Broderick's girlfriend or whatever. Uh, who who you Ben say? Stiller. Ben Stiller. He's the murderer uh, on TV. Yeah, Ben fucking Stiller. Also, like, executive producer, I think. <laughs> Such a good movie. Such a good movie. Fucking Jim Carrey is the best. If they could have squeezed Adam Sandler in there, it would have been, like, everybody mm. from the 90s. Mm. I'm not no, I'm saying, like, that, he, that it was needed, but, like, if, if they had fit him in somewhere. That's fair. They'd be like, oh, who's missing from this 90s movie? That's fair. Probably Adam Sandler. That's or fair. David Spade. Yeah, probably Chris David Farley. Spade. Yeah, that's fair. Other, I people, you, other people you don't like. I was going to say, no, you no. just no, named... no, I was like, other people you hate. I was like, yeah, this movie fair. is sounding worse by the second. It's a good God thing they didn't damn. put him in there. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. Um, Maybe Chevy Chase, I don't know. That's the more than 80s. Saying, which one, Chevy Chase? The real one or the racist Chevy Chase? There's a difference? Probably not. I don't think there was. I don't probably not. I thought the real one was the racist <laughs> one and vice versa. <laughs> and that's why he got the boot from Community. Same. He did. Yeah. Uh, you know, they did a table read. And he wasn't there. Neither was Donald Glover. Well, he did probably had things to do. No, it was a pandemic. There's nothing to do. He still had things to do. No, he. I. I really because I saw it the other day. It was like came up on my YouTube listening, and I was like, "No, I don't want to watch that." When we were doing the, at another time when we were doing the Wonder Woman episode, hey, I clicked on Pedro Pascal's um thing, like mm-hmm. his IMDb thing. He was listed on the community table read. Mm. I didn't. I didn't watch it. I didn't see it, but I was surprised to see his name on there. He probably was in the show. Because you didn't really know him back then. Exactly. So maybe. Maybe. Let's end this episode. I'm going to rewatch that show <laughs> soon. Yeah, I know. I was thinking about it too. I went to the Peacock app and I was like, hmm, there's some stuff on here. It's not bad. But then I also was like, oh, HBO. Not HBO Max because yeah. I don't have that on Amazon. Yeah. Uh, either way. But HBO had some good movies. I was like, hmm. I watched Die Hard. I watched Die Hard 3 and 4. Nice. And like yesterday. Joseph Gordon Die Hard. Jo- Wait, is he in it? I am Sir Riggs Die Hard. No, it's Community. Oh, I was like... It's oh. characters from the second D&D episode. <laughs> okay. They're like the father and son of Jeff and the Dean. I hug my father. And he impales himself on his sword. Speaking of D&D, mm-hmm. The Office. They don't do D&D. No. I was watching the Bill Snickle episode. Mm-hmm. They cut out what's his name. I, did, I remember as soon as I didn't Black see Peter. it. Black Peter. Oh, my God. Was it Black Peter? Black, is it Black Boy Peter? I forget uh, his. I think it's Black Peter, but it's Nate. Yes, but they still show him later on with like the. These they like show the makeup Matt, around but they don't neck. show him like, like turning around. Yeah. <laughs> I, here's the thing. Blackface is dumb. That was fucking hilarious. Yeah, because they were kind of like pointing out that it's dumb. Yes, that's the only. That, yes, it's like Tropic Thunder. Yeah, I have no issues with that. Hilarious. Also hilarious. They did it on It's Always Sunny. Also, if, if you kid, they're problematic though. That's fair. <laughs> to be That's fair. fair. <laughs> That's fair. They're all so I haven't seen that, but they're problematic, and I know they are. So I'm going to leave it at that. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> at, at best, they're problematic. Um, 
I said that about myself earlier. Um, <laughs> but yes, that if you can make it funny in a good way and also show that it was ignorant. The whole elf thing with Chang, honestly, if you got a problem with community, his name shouldn't be Chang because they make fun of it all the time. He he well he kind of makes fun. He of uses it. his name as an adjective. Yes, he uses he it in like various puns in different yes. ways. I just feel like even though I know Chang is Chang is an Asian name, he it just doesn't sound right when I say it about him because mm-hmm. I'm like eh, I probably shouldn't be, but I feel bad about it. <laughs> but not him dressing up as an elf. I thought that was fine. I thought it was super fine. But also. It was fun. That episode was fucking hilarious. I know. It sucks that they took it off. It's, uh, I've heard that it's still on, if you look it up on Amazon, it's on there. Oh. And I heard it's included with Prime. I haven't looked it Here's up Here's the thing. I don't know much about the D&D episodes to be happy about them. That's fair. I, was, I watched them. I was like, okay, cool. The paintball episodes are great. Paintball episodes are amazing. I love the paintball episodes. I, I personally love the D&D episodes because the yeah. first one especially made me want to try it. And I finally did years later. Second one was still pretty good with uh, David Cross in it, but the first one is the best one in my opinion of the two. Mm, that's fair. They only did two. I thought they only did two. They did a couple. Oh, I'm thinking ones. of the video game. Yeah, I'm thinking of the video game. game. Was with also John amazing. Carlo Esposito. Yep. He's so good. He's so good. Yep. Either way, this is we got community this podcast time. <laughs> this is the last half an hour has literally <laughs> been not about jabbering. <laughs> whatever. The, what are we talking? Oh, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, I literally forgot. Um, Lucky for you, we were you did not have a great time with it. It was fine, just fine, nothing more. Um, That's it. That is it. That is the end of the episode. This has been Keith and Chris. Have a great day. And I spoke last. <laughs>